This is AlphaSat. Weighing more than six and a half tons, this vast spacecraft is the most powerful commercial telecommunications satellite ever built in Europe. The mission is based on Alpha Bus, an innovative satellite platform. Not only is AlphaSat packed with new technology, it represents a new partnership between the European Space Agency and a European satellite operator. It is the very first uh, large-scale uh, public-private partnership. And indeed it means that for the first time we have managed to uh, gather within a single uh, program the interests of a public uh, agency like ESA together with the interests of a commercial operator uh, in Marsat. This public-private partnership benefits both ESA and in Marsat. The AlphaSat mission allows the agency to test new platform and payload technology and the operator to extend and improve its global communications network. But there are other key partners as well. The AlphaBus platform at the heart of this satellite was developed by a consortium of Astrium and Talisa Linear Space under contract to ESA and the French space agency Caness. The AlphaSat program would not have happened without the visionary leadership of ESA. It began uh, even before we became involved uh, because this AlphaSat satellite is uh, deploying for the first time the Alpha Bus, the framework on which the payload is strapped. Uh, that Alpha Bus was a, a visionary partnership between Kness and ESA and Astrium and Talis, which led to this program. H minus five hours and the third stage begins to be filled with cryogenic propellants. Mise à feu, première étage. Inmarsat has its origins in Marex, the maritime European communication satellite, a 1980s program conceived and operated by ESA to provide vital contact for ships at sea. This ended up forming the basis of Inmarsat's global mobile communications network. ESA helped sow the seeds for today's satellite communications activities and ESA's approach should continue to allow European industry to remain competitive in the future. We want to keep on developing uh, public-private partnerships because it allows us to still develop very innovative technologies and therefore innovative solutions, but at the same time making sure that they will be used on an operational basis over uh, the whole lifetime of satellites. So this is a combination, if you like, that is totally unique and we can only find within this kind of partnership. AlphaSat is a win-win situation, with interests and risks being shared between the public and private sectors. It's a project that would not have existed without this partnership.